Hey, good morning. This is Michael with Back to the Future Trading. Uh, I have to narrate over this video because when I was recording it live, the uh, software that I used was misbehaving and uh, it didn't necessarily like um, what I was doing. Here I wanted you to see that um, it was 9.35 and uh, September 28th and we had published these times in advance the day before so that people could trade off of them. We were looking at the 936 forecast, a long signal that we had sent out to people the day before on the three minute chart. And you can see here that 936 signal that people had been waiting for since Order the day before. Filled. I went long looking for uh, a trend entry. And then I started to analyze my risk. The uh, stop was 1.5 average true range values from the low of the candle. And um, then I just started to do a risk reward analysis on this setup, uh, looking at where my entry was, where a one to one RR was, a retest of the high. Uh, and then I decided that if we moved uh, halfway back towards my original entry, I would Order add a submitted. second position, an average in, and use that to uh, exit out when I got near my average price. I also looked for a 2 to 1 RR, realizing that my window lasted until 10.03 uh, a.m. this morning. And so that's the great part about the software. It sort of tells you in advance what the timing Order window submitted. was. And if you look there on that chart, you'll see we had a window from 8.12 until uh, 9, I'm sorry, 8.45, and then selling pressure from 8.45 until 936 and this window that I was trying to trade inside of was long from 936 until 1003 there was a uh, new housing econ economic report uh, 10 o'clock and so my theory was that they were going to drive prices higher uh, from 936 until 1003 drive through that high trap the uh, long traders in that high and then at the stop run after the economic report drive prices back down lower and so here the trade took some heat uh, it went down three or four hundred dollars uh, before it started to uh, reverse back in the other direction so I'm gonna leave the uh, the mic open here and you'll watch and see what happens over the next uh, the next few bars here you can see uh, a few bars later we moved down off of that low and now we're uh, we're starting to re-attack the uh, the swing highs here that were made in succession so before the signal at 936 we had uh, the high of the morning the lower high and then a third lower high and we're coming up here and you can see that we're five hundred fifty uh, dollars plus in profit at this point but we're getting closer and closer to the econ and uh, I have my original entry and pullback setups there I'm looking for a two to one RR if I can get it getting closer and closer to the close of that time window which again lasts from 936 to 1009 those time signals are there because over the last few weeks on Tuesday uh, or Wednesday rather over the last few weeks on a Wednesday that's been the uh, behavior pattern and so here you can see I'm about one to one on maximum favorable and maximum adverse excursion it's gone about as far against me as it has for me and we're getting closer and closer to that report Okay, another bar later, you can see I've drawn a diagonal line showing 
the track of the price movement we've got higher candles and uh, consecutive higher candles each time we're getting closer and closer uh, towards that 1003 window time closure and I'm starting to theorize at this point that going into 1003 they're probably gonna trip the high uh, from the high of the morning and again trap all of these traders who are buying into this move uh, seeing these prices rise and I say you know what if we'll get up into this area I'm gonna cover my position and try to lock in about five hundred dollars and so I drew that little shaded area just to sort of remind myself that's an area that they're gonna use to trap traders and uh, trip out a lot of stops and we've seen that with this software when we get near these times we see big wicks and traders getting trapped at retests of highs and lows and breakouts when I believe institutions use those areas to re to uh, create liquidity events, uh, create a whole bunch of longs when they're selling into that move and uh, create a whole bunch of shorts, vice versa. So I'm just kind of formulating in my head what I want to do as we get closer to that 10.03, 10.06 area when the report comes out watching for that stop run. Okay, now we're getting closer to that economic report. We're one bar away from it, and I'm seeing that we're coming back and retesting that swing high uh, a second time. And uh, as we get closer to the economic report, I'm running out of time for my window. And so I'm nowhere near my 2 to 1 RR. doesn't seem achievable at this point without getting caught up in the volatility of the report. So I'm starting to think maybe I should cover up some risk. And uh, if I leave this trade with a tick or two, um, it wouldn't be the worst thing as opposed to having it come down and trip out my stops right after the report. So at this point, I'm seeing a, a double and a triple retest of that previous swing high. I know the stop run is coming. Order my canceled. Taste Order for being canceled. involved in economic reports has waned as I've gotten older. And so customers have sort of taught me, take the money that's on the table instead of the money you think will be on the table. And now I've locked in uh, a tick at this point this morning. And uh, we're getting closer and closer to that economic report. And I'm just waiting to see uh, what's going to happen. I'm noting in my mind that we're getting close to that 1003 signal the economic report is coming up and uh, I want to be nimble at this point I want to take what the profit available to me is um, I'd love to maximize it but I find that when I'm greedy and looking for a little bit more than what was there I usually end up giving back uh, everything that I had so here you see I'm adjusting my uh, target profile as we get closer to the economic report I'd like to see us break through and get that stop run taken care of and take advantage of it um, but um, you'll see here in a second what I end up doing so it's a free trade uh, no risk we've locked in a couple ticks to pay for the the trip and this report will be coming out here momentarily I like the software telling me what time to expect things in the future. Here we are now on that 1003 signal. This is kind of the end of my window, and I don't want to get caught in any selling pressure. So Order I lock filled. in my uh, fourth Order canceled. $500, and I call it a day. And now, I just want you to watch and see what plays out next. Again, my original plan, I'm pointing to it here. I'm almost 100% certain they're going to come up, trip out the stops from the high of day, 
and then drive this candle back down the way they drove it up at 836 and you'll see here um, there's that uh, intuition kicking in institutions just ripping everybody off building false hope we get up into that window that I've drawn here at the very beginning and uh, now watch what happens to price as it retraces back away from that high and here I'm, I'm actually saying these things to you uh, the first time I recorded it but the stupid software uh, didn't link to the right microphone and now watch all these buyers are locked in here they're saying all right we're gonna go higher and higher we're gonna put in another leg they're using order flow and Elliott wave and blah 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 and this time signal is just sitting here reminding me hey it's 1003 over the last few weeks at this time this is when the market puts in a swing high and drops back down you can see that candle almost like it has a leak in it it's just going pssss. it's falling lower and lower and lower and everyone's hopes and dreams have been dashed they're like I got long it's supposed to go up my volume said this and my fib said that and my blah 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 and guru was telling us this that or the other thing and it doesn't matter what the report was gonna say or what the news was good or bad they had a plan and so we like it to know in advance what that plan is probably gonna be it's not a hundred percent but look at the wick on that candle all those buyers who got caught up in there and then the sellers came in right on time uh, at 1003 and dropped it back down this is what we want you to experience what our other customers are experiencing kind of having the inside edge that inside piece of information um, and knowing in advance when these tricks and deceptions are about to unfold otherwise you're not kind of left standing there with your hat in your hand wondering what happened so if you want more information about this click on that video demo link in the description or you can email me I'm happy to help you out we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one live demo uh, see how this works in your market it's Michael, M I C H A E L, at back to the future trading.com. Michael, M I C H A E L, at back to the future trading.com. Thanks again, everyone, for allowing me to uh, show you how these guys uh, rig markets and how we can use their own times against them.